This is Stephanie, your scrappy fangirl, who just got back from the Creating Keepsakes convention um, in New Hampshire, and it hadn't been here for a little while, so it was, uh, it, they skipped a year, so it was great to have them back and to be able to spend a day uh, with a whole bunch of other scrappy people taking classes and doing some shopping. And so I attended this class um, by Keller's Creations, and they um, did a class on how to make layouts really quickly. And they were using this French garden kit, which I have some of it over here, uh, which was designed by Lisa Bernson. And uh, it had some great features that made it really quick to make layouts. And the layouts that we created in the class were uh, 12 by 12 layouts, or she, we, uh, we started creating them. And then she talked about the design and some tips and tricks for making the layouts happen really quickly. But for the most part, um, I do a lot of six by eight scrapping. My um, everyday album, or six by eight Project Life uh, albums with, um, usually use different pocket page protectors. Sometimes I do a whole six by eight layout, but in this case, I'm gonna do a pocket page, a two page spread of this uh, dinner we went to for Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna use some of these uh, great pieces from the French garden kit. And I will stick you on fast forward as I create this layout. So I printed my photos uh, four by six and the top one I was two photos, so I cut it in half into two three by fours. And then I'm just arranging them with six by eight layouts. Four by six goes straight across and you can fit four three by fours on a side. Um, and the French garden kit came with some three by four cards already cut, but most of these are from a full 12 by 12 sheet that we actually cut during the class at um, the Creative Keepsakes convention. So it was a quadrant piece of 12 by 12 paper with four different patterns, um, six by six, four different six by six squares. We cut it apart and then cut them into three by four squares to use um, in a uh, kind of pocket style grid. And so I picked some ones that I liked and put them in an arrangement for the six by eight. Now these uh, cut apart sheets are designed to work with punches. So these large circles are two inch punches and then I have smaller one and a quarter inch punched out circles. So all you need to do is use the right size punch and you can cut out those circles, which is super easy. And then there was this great cut apart sheet with some tiny phrases that you could use. So I just trimmed out a couple of those that I liked. One of them said, sweetheart. And uh, another one I liked was, you are the best sweetheart. I kind of an arrow on it, which I cut out, but then you'll see later on, I decide I don't really need the arrow. I just want it to be straight. So I'll trim it out later, but super fast. These pieces um, are all just on paper to trim out with scissors or punches and it works great. So I'm just kind of picking an arrangement there. And you can see the layout is really almost, almost come together. This night that my husband and I went to was at a beautiful uh, renovated old kind of Victorian style hotel called Wentworth by the Sea. And each winter they do a winter wine festival. And I'm um, taking some time to write the journaling about that night. It was really neat. The um, Every course that came out during the festival, the wait staff would come out each with a plate in each of their hands in a line and they would walk in formation and encircle the table until there was a server standing behind you. And then with a nod from one of the servers, they would lay down the plates in, um, in sync so that everybody at the table got their plate at the same time. It was beautiful. It was, it was like choreography. It was uh, really uh, wonderful to experience. And, uh, and it was just, it made the night super elegant. It was a beautiful night. And the, um, the sommelier was there, talked about each of the wines and the wines were delicious and every dish was amazingly wonderful. And, I've been working really hard over the winter to um, to stay true to my diet, to get ready for summertime. So having this one night to eat this wonderful, 
beautifully prepared, beautifully plated, so much flavor food. It was it was definitely a wonderful treat uh, to go out for Valentine's Day with my husband and enjoy that. So you can see my journaling's done, and now I'm just sticking down the little embellishments that I chose. And here's where I decide I'm going to kind of cut off that arrow and just have it be a little tiny word strip, make it a little bit thinner. And just adhere that down. And the other one as well. I really like the, I love the colors on this kit and the way all kind of, you don't really need anything else. It's got embellishments, it's got papers, it's got three by four cards. I did grab these. I got these at the uh, CK convention as well from the Islet Outlet. They had a whole bunch of inexpensive little tiny hearts and um, enamel dots. And I picked up a bunch. I'm a sucker for a blingy little tiny heart, puffy, wonderful sticker. And then I decided I wanted another to use another one of the circles and for some reason my punch wouldn't quite reach so I just had to trim off a little bit of that edge so my punch could get completely around that circle but that was no big deal. And I punched that out and now I can embellish that other little filler card there and that is pretty much it. I stick that down and it's done. This layout took less than 10 minutes. It was super easy, super fast, and uh, now I'm finished. Now all you have to do, because it's a pocket page, to slip them in the pockets. And um, of course, you'll see in a minute that it's important if you're doing a double page spread, spread to make sure your pocket is going in the right direction. So I slip all of the cards into the pockets so that it can go into my little six by eight album. And then I realized that on the left side, I actually need to flip my pocket page over so that they will face each other on a two page spread and not be one page after the other. Ah, oh no, here's where I realize it. Oh, gotta flip that around. It probably took longer to do that flipping around than it did to make the whole layout. The layout didn't take very long at all. So thanks everyone for watching my really quick process video and um, maybe check out Keller Creations who um, sponsored this class and uh, they were a lot of fun and their products look really cool so I'll be checking them out some more and uh, have a wonderful day.